Welcome to Tech Primers. In the previous video in the same series, we saw how to create filter example. In this particular video, we are going to see how to create mapper example. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to create mappers. So what I'll do is I'll just create one more class called mapper example. So that ind individually you can go and see what examples we did in the previous sessions, right? Okay. So what we are going to do here is we are going to create a different example so let's go ahead and let the name be there I'm going to create a pojo so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class here and I'm going to create a class called user okay and I'm going to create some variables called okay string name okay and I'm going to have some integer called age okay so i'm going to create some getters and setters if you know about uh, lombok you can use lombok api to generate the getters setters and constructors and stuff like that but i'm going to i'm not going to make this particular example so complex so i'm just going to create a uh, string saying name and example that's it okay so for now we know only the names but we don't know the age so what we're going to do here is uh, we are going to use try to introduce mappers here so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, use the same filter so i'm going to introduce mapper here so what i'm going to do is i need to convert this particular names into a different object so basically mappers are used so if i show what is a mapper so mapper is like map so it's not a hash map as such it is just like a mapper example so the name is slightly misleading but it is not a it's not a hash map or something like that okay and mappers accept functional uh, uh, function has the uh, function interface so if you notice function is the function interface and if i go to function so what function does is function expects an object of type t and it returns an object of type r basically it returns a different type of object so it's basically a transformation so um, the function is going to transform something from t to r or it can even transform from t to t so it's it doesn't matter you can even give t object of type t and then get object of type t as well so it's basically like you give object of uh, let's say uh, you give string and then you return something else some other object so that is what we are going to do in this particular example so we are going to return string because we got name here okay from the name what we are going to do is we are going to create a user object so that's what we are going to do here so i'm going to say new user okay of name so let's say for simplicity uh, let's not add this particular constructor right so let's see okay let's not go to let's not add it i'll just may default it to 30 okay so here what we're doing is we are going to pass this particular string to the user okay i'll make okay that is what we are doing here so i'm just creating a new user class and i need to return this guy okay so that is what we need to do here so what we are doing here is we are getting a type string and we are converting that into user so if you notice here you have to type this as user you can directly put this as user and same way you can change this as user but uh, IntelliJ says that okay you can use function interface you can just replace this with lambda expression so that is not required so if you use lambda expression the explicit type declaration or the data type declaration is not required and you can even simplify this by doing this right you don't even have to worry about that right so now if you notice here IntelliJ is again saying that okay return is even not required so basically IntelliJ is like uh, giving you suggestions on what should be there and what is not required okay so you just replace that directly and if you notice here still again IntelliJ is saying okay you can again refactor this and if I say alt enter it's going to replace this with method reference again so basically what it is going to do is it is going to replace into something like this so what this signifies is whatever argument comes the same argument is passed to the new instance of a user that is what this says and if you notice here what we are doing here is we are converting the uh, string into a 
type of user so here what i will do i'll just print i'll just override the uh, uh, toasting method right so what i'll do is i'll just override the toasting method okay here uh, i'm going to print the as a part of the toasting method i'm going to print the uh, name and the so i'm going to say name okay and i'm going to print the age right so that because when we print this here it's going to print as our name and object right if we had to do this in the imperative state what we would have done is we would have done uh, here users user equal to new user of name and we would have printed the user right right so if i run this particular program now so this should now return me object so basically this is going to return me this this result name as whatever so if you notice here imperative style is also going to return the same thing functional is also going to return the same thing the only difference is the way we write the method so if you notice here here we were doing mapper basically and that is what we are doing here so in in terms of uh, in uh, in terms of stream usage you can use mapper for converting objects from one type to another so this is very helpful when you are converting objects from one type to another so for example uh, you want to filter something and then you want to convert it into a different type then you can use mapper and then finally we are going to uh, do for each so basically we are just going to uh, print the values which we got okay so let's say we don't want to print it but i want to accumulate it okay so in that case we can use something called collect so instead of for each so if i have to re rewrite this right without for each okay i will have to do uh, like a uh, collector which is going to be the final command so and another thing inside stream is you have to have a terminal operation so for each is a terminal operation if you see after for each for each doesn't return anything that is a terminal operation same way collect is a terminal operation you cannot do anything over collect so collect is going to return something but um, that is like a terminal operation you have to have a terminal operation to stop the flow of a stream right so that is what we are doing here and in order to collect this let's say i want to collect this as a list so i'm going to say collectors dot tool list so collectors is a, a library which is there in java if you notice collector is a library it has lots of uh, predefined implementation on what it needs to do so that is what we are going to do here so if you notice if you notice this is going to be returning some value and if you say intellij is complaining saying result of stream dot collect is ignored so what we need to do is we need to say introduce variable so this is going to collect the users list basically so what we are doing here is we are filtering out sam and we are converting into a user object and that is getting converted into a list so we are going we are just storing it as a list here what we were doing we were just printing it using for each but if you want to filter the stream filter this particular stream and then create some other object and then store it in another uh, collection we can do that so that is what this is doing so we are getting a stream object we are filtering that we are using map to convert that into a different type and then finally we are collecting it so in detail we will see about collectors in the future uh, videos but this video was specific for mapper so you can use mapper for um, transforming objects from one specific object to another object or from the same object to the same object so that is what um, map does so that is what map is useful for in this stream so that's it for this particular video see you again in the next video thank you